What up guys, your boy Kothis, and we have a lot to go over, so let's go ahead and jump into it, and I can tell you exactly what you need. First off with techniques, what you want to put your points in early game is the unyielding sword parry. Reason being is a lot of these Mongols have these unblockable attacks, and it becomes extremely frustrating to deal with. So having this early is great, because you can block it and parry that. On top of that, you want to do the dodging slash reason beans because usually, as it shows here, you're dealing with the bigger targets and they're pretty annoying. If you can move out of the way and get a quick attack in on them before they swing again, then you can burn them down. And I'll show you an easier way to deal with them than instead of just like dodging. As far as your stances, now depending on how many stances you have, you can put your points wherever. But as far as stances go, you need to have a minimum of two points in each. The reason being is because every one of these first points, which you're obviously going to put points into, just strengthens the stance right off the bat, and then everything else boosts your strength of stagger damage. And stagger damage is so huge when you're being surrounded. You need the stagger damage. If you can slow somebody or stagger them, it keeps them out of the fight for just a little bit, and you can choose to rush them and finish them or you can move on to another target that's trying to hit you from behind because this one that's staggered isn't going to push you right now. Now, on top of all that, when it comes to Ghost, this is where you want the points, right here. Standoff. Standoff is so huge. Now, this costs two points a piece, so you're looking at four more points right here, but that's fine. Save up. Get the improved standoff streak. It makes such a difference when you come into a fight and you can go ahead and take three guys out at the beginning. Same thing goes with assassination. You want this as well. And of course, if you jump off of a, a, a tall building or something, you double tap or just hit circle right before you land. You do a quick roll and you don't take any damage. Now, I've tested this on bigger falls. Don't do it. You'll die. <laughs> do not jump off the top of a massive tower thinking you're going to roll dodge that. Do not. You can try it, but you know, I already did that for you. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the combat and I'll show you what you need to do in certain situations. Okay guys, now I'm gonna go over something that's pretty obvious, but people tend to forget. Your stances. Now the stone stance is perfect for taking down people with swords only. Then you have the water stance that's perfect for taking down people with shields. The wind stance is perfect for people with spears and pole arms. And then finally, the moon stance that's there to take down those heavy targets. Now I see a lot of people spamming abilities, right? Which you could do if you want. If that's what you want, right? You can get away with it. On the harder difficulties, maybe not so much, but if that's what you want to do, do it. Realize that this game is beautiful, okay? Just take a look at it. It's amazing to look at, right? So is the combat. They took time to make this combat just as beautiful as the game itself. So, instead of spamming, you can slowly attack because this game plays at your pace, right? You don't have to worry about going in and out and spamming everything. You can just move fluidly through the game. Throw some kicks, switch it out, get some low attacks, and then get a spin, right? And that was very, very slow. The slower I play, the slower the NPCs come at me. If I, if I walk up to them, they're gonna have the intimidation factor, right? We are the ghosts of Tsushima. Everybody in this game fears us, not the other way around. We should never run from a fight. Unless you're doing like a, a ninja playthrough, then that's fine, you do you. But let's go ahead and get into actual combat and we will clear everything up that you have a problem with. All right guys, we're gonna showcase why standoff is so good. All right, right here. going to a standoff. Now this is how you never lose a standoff. Always watch this man's feet, right? In the later part of the game, they always like try to flinch and like throw you off a lot, but he's not going anywhere if his feet doesn't go anywhere. So wait for his feet to go, then you release, right? Guy comes out, release. Big dummy comes, release. Then we have big boss, man. He thinks he's gonna get a piece, but he didn't. He died. Now, the reason that we were able to kill so many targets and stand off because we are wearing the Sakai armor and what the Sakai armor does is increases the standoff streak by two so you can kill up to five people when this armor is maxed out this is very very good armor for mid to late game so if you want to go get your hands on it just play the normal story missions uh, and you know you'll get it because it's you know 
right there for the taking. All right, guys, now we're going to give you a little bit of tips on how like stealth can be perfected. Number one rule of stealthing, you always want to be somewhere high up. You want to have a good field of view of everybody that you can. Now, as far as the overall game, you want to max out your Tonto before you max out your Katana. You will anyways, because this only takes three upgrades. And this takes seven. But if you have the points and the materials to put, you know, damage up on either one, do the Tonto first. The reason being is because the speed of the assassinations are faster, which I'll show you the difference because you may just have like level one Tonto or level two. When it's level three, you're extremely fast with the kills. And on top of it, you kill people a lot more quietly so you can get away with a lot more. Now, before I told you to do this right here, put points into this, it's worth it. I'm going to show you why right now. And Going back to the katana, don't worry about not putting points. Let me just go ahead and show you this. You can get the Ronin attire very, very early in the game just by doing the main story missions. And this increases your melee damage by 30%. That's a pretty good chunk that you're getting back without even putting points into it. You know what I mean? Okay, let's do this stealth. You guys up. Run through here. Run jump, hit triangle, All right? Do the next one. So that guy, look how fast that was, right? That guy, okay. He's down. Switch. Take him out. Rush this guy. Attack. Push stances. Boom. And now you're a ninja. Get edgy. Wipe the blood off. Move on. Say hey to the cow. Okay, so this is perfect. In front of me is a, a group of people, right, uh, the fight. Normally, I would go in and start off with a standoff, but for the sake of the video, we're just going to go in and fight. So, okay. I'm not going to do a standoff. We're going to go in and just start some shit, right? Now, here's a guy with a sword, right? We're going to go immediately into stone stance, wait for him to come after us, throw a parry, kill his ass. They're all on sword stance. Okay, here's one guy. Switch. Step out, back off, switch, roll, come in again, and hit. We're gonna roll out, switch stances again, and slowly play. Right? This is our game, we play at our own pace. A little quick parry. Wait for it. See? This game plays with us. So where the hell did that guy go? Dogs always sidestep. I gotta leave? <laughs> okay. Pro tip. Um, anytime that your resolve is up or whatever, or anytime that you have low health, go ahead and use your health and then finish it because it gives you more resolve. Let's actually go find some more people because I think they ran. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, so here we are outside of a base. Anytime you come, they have multiple people. I hope those people on horseback don't leave. I want to kill them. Uh, that's fine. There's only two of them. We could shoot that with a bow and blow it up and kill both of them, but who cares? So anytime you come to a base, always look around for archers. Anybody standing up on these top pieces need to go first. Now we see an archer over there. If you have the short bow or the half bow, I always call it the short bow. You aim just a little bit above their head, right, and release. If you have the long bow, you switch to it, aim right at him. He's armored anyways release he's done always take out people on top now for the sake of the video i'm just gonna go in and unload on people normally i would stealth my way through and or start off with a standoff but i'm trying to showcase how combat works so let's go ahead and get into our stone stance we're already in it look at these people right what they got we could do a standoff but we're not going to this guy looks like he has swords we're just gonna rush him because he's not even paying attention. All right? Back off. Roll. We got everybody after us. Looks like. Just slowly back off. Understand everything you got. Looks like everybody's running swords. They have one big guy. That's good. We'll get the big guy here in a second. Now we're gonna play at our own pace. Barry. Alright? That scares him a little bit. We got one guy with a pole arm. Alright? We're gonna switch stances. We're gonna go after him. Now we're gonna win stance, right? Guy's coming up behind us. Dodge backwards, switch stances. Wait for it, parry, right? I look at them, they're all getting scared. 
Parry again. All right, that's the boss down. Now the dude's trying to run. Just gonna get this shot. I think we got him. No, this dude stepped in. Got us. That's fine. Cause I was normally you want to be at the half bow, All right? All right, we got the big guys in. So we'll switch to our kunai, right? Now here's how you deal with the big guys without having uh, the moon stance. So the moon stance is normally what you do with the big guys, right? But if you don't have that, let's say we're just in uh, stone stance. Big guy comes in, throw a kunai, stagger him, and then just unload on him. That's all it is. You don't have to sidestep or roll dodge or anything like that. Guy comes out, let's get out of here. Big guy, roll back. Oh, he caught us, that's fine. Because they have huge reach. Just throw a kunai. Finish him off. All right. Now we have a dude with a sword. He looks to be terrified. It's fine. Just parry. Put him down. Right? We have a dog here. Normally you can hit a dog with a bow. I think the dog's going to run too, which is ridiculous. Why would a dog run? For the sake of the video, we're not going to kill the dog. All right? But dogs can be pretty annoying when they come at you. Just sidestep. Sidestep and do your light attack. Sidestep and do your light attack. And where that comes in, you can do that with the big guys as well. That's the techniques I was talking about. That's this one right here. Dodge flashing. It's just sidestep into square. It's that easy. All right. That pretty much sums it up, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and comment. Come check me out on Twitch. I'm streaming every day. I still haven't fully beat the game. I'm just going and doing all side missions. And right now we're playing on hard mode. So if you want to come check that out, come check it out, man. I've been streaming for like 10 hours a day. And I really, really enjoy this game. Hopefully you do too. And if you have any more information or you have any questions, please hit me up on the, the, the channel and let me know. And, you know, I'll get back to you. You guys have a great day and I will see you in the future. Hopefully with more videos like this. Later, guys.